Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Wells Knight's Realm. And in today's episode, we are going to be working a little bit more in the desert village. Now, between episodes, I made a couple minor changes to the warehouse. I added these two orange, uh, this orange stained clay right here, uh, which I think really adds a lot to the front of the building. Uh, it also has the added bonus, the added bonus of making this section of the building look like some sort of monster thing with the mouth and the eyes. But anyway, um, I digress. Uh, I also organized this. So on this side, I've got blocks like grass and stone and wood and things like that. And then over here, I've got items like crafted stuff, natural stuff, mob drops, etc., etc. So. What I'm going to do right off the bat is grab a little bit of dirt, and, uh, yeah, let's grab about that much dirt. And I want to do two things. I want to make a path that goes to the warehouse from right here. Just so we kind of have that going. And then I also want this path to kind of split off and go this way, because right here, I think, is where we're going to put the docks. So let's maybe wrap that, uh, maybe like this is kind of what I'm thinking. We'll wrap it kind of around here and then down like that. And I'm also kind of thinking that these paths will probably have to be widened at some point as well, so we'll do that, uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that in this episode. I think I'll save that uh, for once we have a little bit more stuff built up, then I'll start doing a little bit more work on the infrastructure and things like that. So for now, let's just do that, and we've got kind of our road that splits right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, for the docks, we definitely need wood. That's going to be a must. Let's put our dirt away. So let's grab some spruce and maybe some birch. Uh, I think birch would fit really well. And actually, let's you know what? Let's just grab all, all of our wood except for the dark oak. I don't want the dark oak. There we go. And we want our docks over here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put them over here. So let's grab an ender chest, put out our crafting table, and let's get started with some slabs. And I think I want this to be up at about this level or so. Maybe right about here. This will be kind of our boardwalk level. Does that seem about right? That's one block above the water. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'm, I'm going to bring that down. I, I'm going to actually bring that up a block because then we can put maybe some fences underneath it for some extra detail, uh, which I think would be a good idea. So let's just kind of get this boardwalk going along here. And we'll bring it out maybe, uh, maybe about this far. Or maybe we'll even bring it out all the way to, like, over here or so. Just so it kind of connects everything up. Yeah, so like that. This will be kind of our dock area. And then I think we're going to have two main, uh, what are they called, wharfs or something like that. So we'll start one here. And I'll build it out a ways. I should probably be counting this, but oh well. Um, even a little bit further. One, two, three, four. About there. That should be good. Let's ch let's check and see where that is for length. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, so that's gonna be one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen blocks. This is going to be extending out. And then what we'll do 
is bring this out like this, and we're actually gonna bring it out on a on uh, it'll be like a five side five it'll, five wide. It'll be five wide. Almost lost the Englishes for a moment there. Stuttering, making up words and things. Here we go. And then we'll do this. Or maybe we want these four wide. Hmm. Do you want to go four or five? Five might be too much. No, let's go five. Let's go five because the uh, this layer is going to be the layer where we have um, the support beams or whatever. So let's knock you down. And I can start putting these in place. There we go. Get up there. You can do it, I believe. There we go. Okay, so we'll go like that. Does that look about right? It does. And we'll do the same over here. Although I'm kind of tempted to lower the bridge by half a block. That was really a bad idea. And I just lost a spruce log, but that's okay. Sacrifices sometimes have to be made. Okay. So then we'll go one, two, three, four, and on the fifth, I think, right here, we'll put a log. Just like that. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, and on the fifth right here, we'll put a log. There we go. And then one, two, three, four. Oh, look at that. That worked out perfectly, actually. I'm quite happy with that. And one there. Oh, I suppose now I can't get up there. Nope. Okay, that's fine. I'll come around. I'll come around to the other side. There we go. So we've got kind of our dock. I'm going to go ahead and get that done on the other side over here. And then I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back. So I've got that done. I also went ahead and brought those pillars over here. And then all I need to do is, uh, or I put out a, a second dock here. And now all I really need to do is get these built up as well. So I'm going to work on that. And then I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back. So I've got that all taken care of. Now, the next step is going to be to make a bunch of fences. And I think for the fences, I might just go oak wood. Um, let's try that out and see what we think. Let's just make a couple of those. There we go. How's that look? Um... Yeah, that actually looks about right. Let's go oak. So we're going to make a whole bunch. That's going to take a while. Let's go like that and like that. There we go. That hopefully will be enough. And we'll put those here along the dock. Like this. But we're going to leave the very ending over here open, although I might put one right here, because this is where the, ship it's, the ships themselves would actually dock, is right at the very end, because then they can turn and go back out to sea. You know, this would be, these would be very large ships. They wouldn't be able to just, uh, you know, turn on a dime, if you will. At least that's my thinking of it. So we do something like that. That should do, do I like that better? I think I like I think I like it better without the post right here. Okay. Then we want to make sure this is lit up. So I'm going to put torches on top of each of these. Like so. And I'm about to run out of torches, aren't I? Of course I am. That's all right. I have a good amount of coal with me. I can just make more. There we go. Okay, so we've got the docks pretty much done. So that is a really, 
good. Uh, hmm. You know what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to extend this a little bit. And I think I'm going to put birch in right back here where all this stuff is kind of hiding out. All this sand, I'm going to replace all that with the birch as well. And that way we've got this nice elevation change uh, where the magic happens. So it'll be like this. I think this is going to look better rather than just having it kind of transition on the same elevation into the birch. I think this will end up looking a lot better. There we go. And I am just barely out of birch wood, but I've got a little bit more here. And let's just make a few more slabs. That should be enough. There we go. So you got that going. And yeah, that does look better. That does look a lot better. Okay, so we've got our docks in place. And that's pretty good. Now, the next thing that I want to do... Uh, let's tear up this stuff. And let's head into the warehouse. Now I want to bring that path down there as well. So let's see, this is blocks. So my sand goes in there. Wood all goes in here. Look at me being all organized and stuff. Isn't that great? I don't do that enough. I have a nasty habit of getting very disorganized very quickly. So I'm very proud of myself. Uh, and actually, let's also grab a little bit of grass. Because I have some ideas for that as well. So, first of all, we need this path to come down here. So, what I'm going to do is this. Just like that. Just for now, this will change later. Um, I'll end up slabbing this. And I'm probably going to use jungle wood uh, for the slab on the uh, on the dirt. Because it, it mixes very well. It's almost the same color. Uh, which is something I learned from Iskal in Kingdom Craft. But let's do a little bit of grass over here as well. Just not a lot. We're just kind of mixing in a little bit here and there. Just enough to kind of break up the sand a little bit. And make it seem not quite as dead. Ooh, that's a little bit too green right there. This... Uh, this is actually a, a beach biome? Yeah, beach. So, that means that the grass color changes, and I don't want that. I want the grass to all be relatively nasty looking. This kind of olive uh, nasty color that we've got. That's kind of what I want, actually. But we're just going to mix a little bit of that in here and there. Throughout the landscape. And that will help kind of break up the uh, the sand. Because otherwise we just have nothing but sand for as far as you can see. And that's not what we want. Uh, we also have a little bit of sugar cane over here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll grow a little bit more of that. A little bit closer to the edge right over here. And then maybe over on this side as well, just to add in a little bit of extra green, which is usually a good thing. So that'll grow up over time. Road comes there. This is all good. And then the next project that we're going to work on is going to be over here. And it's essentially going to be the farms, because I said when we first started working in this area, I kind of want this area to be like an agrarian society. Uh, with lots of irrigation and farms and cool things like that, which I think will be a lot of fun. Um, but I think we'll go ahead and tackle that one in the next episode, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.